Watching the NHL draft is always an exercise in hope and potential because no games have been played yet. It's also a social barometer. All those kids called to the stage were middle or upper middle class or above. You can't get there now without an investment by your family of maybe 20 or even 50,000 a year. The days are gone when farm kids could get there by playing on the pond or poor city kids stuffed Eaton's catalogs in their pants as shin pads. A sport like hockey was once a social equalizer. Now it's more like cricket, or would be, except cricket has long been a battleground of social forces, especially in former colonies like India or the West Indies, where the locals love to beat the former masters at their own game. If things continue this way, hockey will start approaching the status of polo instead. Think about Brexit and those angry working class voters. The new world of neoliberal economics and free trade has left many of them not just without jobs or dignity, but often also without access to cultural experiences like sports that helped make life bearable in the past. In Canada's case, that sadly includes, or excludes, playing hockey. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rick Salutin.